welcome to my channel. If you have never seen my face before, please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So today, I'm getting a head start on packing for our cruise that we're going on. So I thought, what better way than to share the whole process of packing? I have a few packing tips. They're not like groundbreaking or anything, but I do have a few suggestions and things when it comes to packing for a vacation. Some of my like vacation essentials that I wanted to share with y'all, so I figured that I would share this process. By the time you are seeing this, we are back from our cruise and you can expect to see a cruise vlog very, very soon. So my biggest tip when packing is laying everything out. I typically just lay everything out on our bed and I like to lay things next to each other that are going to go with each other to see if I really like the way that it looks. Right now, I don't have everything out. I just threw a few pieces on the bed that I knew for sure that I was taking. Our cruise is a seven night cruise, so there will be two formal captain's dinners. So I got two different dresses for each night. I cannot wait for y'all to see these on. Just laying here does absolutely no justice to them. They are beautiful. This one is gonna be for my more fancier night. <laughs> Me and Cody are like thinking, okay, one night's gonna be extra fancy, and other night's gonna be like semi-fancy. But to some of you, both of these might seem fancy, but this one has a split. It kind of gives me like Jessica Rabbit vibes because it fits. These are both in a size 10 because your girl is slimming on down. This one I shared about on Instagram and I absolutely love it. The color is a little different on screen than it is in person. So hopefully you guys will be able to see it better in the vlogs. But I love this one. This one came from Macy's. And this one I found at TJ Maxx. And it is a Calvin Klein and it was $40 and I love it. The back is super cute. I love these little flouncy sleeves. It also fits like a glove. It's so pretty. And this little clutch right here that came in my spring FabFitFun box. Um, hello. It is perfection. It's not the exact same color, but because it's that coral color, it's in the same family. So I think I could totally get away with carrying this with that to dinner. Just so I could have like my camera, some lip gloss, maybe some mints or something, or room keys. I could stick that in there and I'm not feeling like I have a ton of stuff. We do have lanyards that we'll be wearing to keep our room key in because we just found um, being frequent cruisers, those were like the easiest thing for us. But when we're all fancy, we're not wearing no lanyard to dinner. So I could keep all of that in here, but I think it's perfect. How cute is that? It obviously has the navy, so that goes really well. But I think it's just a nice little tropical addition and it's reversible so I can tote it either way. I have my two cover-ups from Swimsuits for All. I am obsessed. You guys have seen this one on my Instagram. Super cute, very comfy. I love the lace-up detail on that one. You haven't seen this one. It's all black and it has a really cool detail on the sleeves. It also has a tie that goes across the back. It's just really simple, lightweight, very comfy. And it will go with a lot of my suits because I tend to go with black suits. So now I gotta dive into our closet and find all of the pieces that I'm gonna be bringing. This is the longest cruise we've ever been on. So we're gonna need some clothes for this. To make my life easier, I have to write down each individual day that we're gonna be gone. No matter where we're going, I always do this. No matter what length of time we're gonna be gone, this is what I always do so that I can kind of get an idea of what outfit I want to be preparing for for each of those days. So that's what's going to help me. So I wrote down each location that the boat will be going to for different days so it can kind of give me an idea of what I want to pack and wear for that day. We will need an extra outfit because we're going a day earlier. May 12th is my YouTube anniversary and it's also my husband's birthday. So we're going down a day earlier so we can kind of celebrate and just be a lot closer to the port the next morning so we can just sleep in and get everything all ready. And then our hotel will just shuttle us over to the port. That's what we've always done. Anytime we've ever cruised, we just go down a day earlier so we can be there and route and we can relax and not feel like we're rushed to try to make sure we make it to port on time because if you don't get there on time, they will leave you. You will not get your money back. I will already be dressed in my outfit for the first day because it's easier for me to go ahead and be dressed because it might take you a while for you to get your luggage sent to your room by the time you get on the boat. So I like to go ahead and make sure that I already have on like a nice outfit. I'm definitely gonna be taking tons of pictures. So I want to make sure that I have on a nice, casual tropical outfit when we first get to the boat so that is for day one so that's what we're going to look for right now 
what do I want to wear the first day? When traveling anywhere, a one piece option is always the easiest thing to pack. Not only pack, but to put on. So I love packing dresses and rompers and jumpsuits. This one's sort of like a little set. It's got the shorts underneath it with like the long thing. So it's kind of giving you like a dress vibe, but it also has shorts. So it's, it's like a romper with a tail. <laughs> Um, this is giving me total Shaylee vibes. If you watch Shaylee's channel, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, that's exact. This is something that you could definitely see her wearing. And it's off the shoulder. Super cute. Very lightweight. So that's going to be perfect. Also, this dress from Old Navy that I found on ThreadUp. I have been waiting to wear this dress. These are good options for dinner. That's not the formal dinner. These are a good option for that. Or just wearing around the boat. Or if you got some special plans when the boat dock. This little jumpsuit here is from Ross. Super cute. Strapless. I'm excited to wear this. Probably wear it to dinner one night. Very lightweight. So on to the bottoms. When I get my blouses and tops out, I will definitely pair them together so I can show you what I'm thinking. Because we're going to be on the boat for so long, I'm sure a couple of these pairs will be worn a few different times. I feel like this shirt is blending into the bed, so it's kind of hard to tell and see the detail. You could definitely just throw this on over your bathing suit because I think that would be adorable just to throw on because it's super lightweight i got this from thread up still had the tags on it it's by love stitch it's in a size medium actually, i actually think it's really cute with these shorts and my hat i think that combo might be really cute together here is one of my new tops this is from american eagle they had a really really good clearance sale going on and i got this one snagged it up it was originally 40 dollars, and i don't think i paid over 11 dollars for it but it's super cute this is in a size medium these laces are lace so when you get up towards your bra area you definitely will be able to see through it so if you're going to wear something underneath this then i would definitely do like a nude color or something so it just kind of blended and you and you wouldn't really see it but it's just really super flirty and cute has the little ruffle detail at the bottom and then it has the double ruffled sleeves it's kind of like a cold shoulder kind of feel but not it's kind of more like strapless but with a strap it's i don't know how to explain it but that is super stinking cute i picked this tank up when i bought these shorts from walmart and i just have to tell you this is the softest thing i've ever felt in my life i don't know exactly how to explain this fabric but it was super cheap these tanks were only 388 i did get an extra large and i could have gotten a medium or a large but i wanted something that was going to give me a little bit more room i like my tanks to be a little roomy the straps on the top of the tank are kind of long i can totally make that work i just wanted it just to be a little bit more roomy and not be so tight and fitted because these are like the fitted tanks this is a scoop neck but it's so soft i don't know how to explain it these are in the junior section the fabric is everything picked them up to go with these i would just tuck it into those shorts but then again i could also pair it with other items and just accessorize to make it super cute kimonos are also one of my closet staples i love them any kind of like thin cover up i also like cardigans that's just one of my favorite things and of course going on a cruise you can definitely make an outfit super cute with a kimono. So this is one that I'm going to be bringing. I've had it forever. I could not even tell you where it's from, but I love it. I love the tassels on it. And of course, it's black and white. I can pair it with anything. I tend to put all of my nicer outfits on the days that will be docked and getting off the boat and visiting places. And then I just focus on like bathing suit cover-ups when we're cruising because the majority of the time, I'm just in a bathing suit and a cover-up when we're on the boat. So I don't pick an exact outfit for each day. Most of the time, it's like half cover-ups with bathing suits and the other half is regular outfits. So a few weeks ago, I did a bathing suit haul here on my channel and I showed a ton of bathing suits in that haul. I had already bought some from Cupshe online before Cupshe even reached out to me about sending me some and in swimsuits for all wanted to send me some so your girl has options too many options. So I ended up listing some on my Poshmark because I had way too many suits that I would never get around wearing. So a lot of those suits were worn for under like a minute or two. Still in their original packaging and I just listed them on my Poshmark because I just don't have, I don't have enough summertime in my life to be wearing all of these. And some of them I didn't like the way they fit so it was just a lot easier. I do know I'm taking this set from Swimsuits for All and that one is really easy to pair with denim shorts because it kind of looks like a crop top tank or something the top on that 
that one super cute if you want to see these on me you can check out that video i'll link it up above for you to see now the hard part is all of these other ones i don't want to take a different swimsuit for each day but then again <laughs> the good thing about this is not like an airplane you don't have to like check your luggage so it's not like they're going to weigh it i do think i'm going to take this one i loved this one it's navy and yellow and a lighter blue so I thought that print was very tropical and I love the fit on that one. It was super comfy. This was one that I had already ordered myself for. I agreed to work with them. Let's get it turned the right way, shall we? It's a black one piece. It's super sexy. To me anyway. <laughs> to you it might be like, oh that's just what I regularly wear. It has a lot of mesh detailing on it, but it's in like appropriate places. So it's not in like, I'm gonna show my business i bought this one specifically for the crew so i have to take it i just gotta take it i've tried this one on with that black and white kimono super stinking cute i just wish i had a black hat to wear i only have that tan one but it's going i'm gonna make that work i can make the tan work throw on some gold my gold little jack roger my imitation jack rogers because they're not jack rogers but this one super cute and it kind of made me feel a lot slimmer the way that it was made i will most likely already have a bathing suit on when i get on the boat the first day because here's a tip if you're cruising i mentioned this before but it might take forever for you to actually get your luggage so that's like the best time to get into a pool is on the first day you get there because most people don't already have their bathing suits on they didn't put it in their like little bag that they brought on there with them it's in their luggage so they have to wait for their luggage to get there before they can change into their bathing suit so if you want to go ahead and get in the pool before it gets packed make sure you already have it on or you have it in like your personal bag that you're carrying with you so either i'm going to have it in my bag or i might do a cute little outfit with it underneath it i haven't decided yet but i'm going to go ahead and have it on so i don't have to fight the crowds to get into a pool because i just started a beginner workout plan i'm on week two next week is the final week which is three weeks the app that i'm following is called the keep app i found it in the app store on a random late night search for apps i found it there and i love it it's for beginners so of course it's a little bit on the easier side but trust me they're not easy they're not like super easy and i'm starting to get into the intermediate ones so it's going to get even harder so week three will be done on the crew so that means i also will be taking some workout clothes we've never utilized the gym on the boat <laughs> this time we are because we're trying to live a healthier lifestyle so in my mind i'm like Paige. the only way you can just you know enjoy this cruise food get your buffet on eat everything you want at dinner time you're gonna have to work so i gotta work out i'm making that promise to myself that i'm gonna kick butt in the gym while i'm there so now let's talk shoes one pair will already be on my feet so technically i'm only having to pack three i bought these specifically for the cruise i've always wanted birkenstocks they are an investment but they are totally worth it once you get them broken in and i read a blog post that was talking about it's got like a two to three week break-in period i've been wearing them every day for a few hours every day to break them in once you can see a good imprint of your foot inside of them then you know they're broken in and plus they won't hurt your feet once they're broken in i will tell you the first day and the second day that i wore them i was regretting buying them because they hurt um so you just definitely you just wear them as long as you can until they start hurting and take them off these i got at target and i love them because they're not too high of a heel so i'll be wearing these to both of the captain's dinners because they go with both of my dresses i just found these at ross and at first i was like those kind of look like grandma shoes <laughs> but then i put them on y'all they're so stinking cute but not only that these suckers are comfortable and they were only 15 dollars. they're by dirty laundry i got an eight and a half i thought they were just cute as i don't know what all i don't know i think they're adorable can't forget old faithfuls you guys know that i wear these on many occasions these are so comfortable now and broken in i can wear them for hours on end and my feet don't hurt and they're pretty simple to pair with like basic outfits so those go with just about anything so once i get my outfits all together because right now i'm feeling a little overwhelmed i know i'm not the only one that feels like this when you're packing because this is especially when you're packing for a long period of time and there's things happening and events you want to be prepared for i do know that my outfits for the formal dinners are together i just have to get the matching jewelry that i want to wear with them and i'm all done with those so i'm not stressing over those 
I just want to make sure I have enough of outfits for the rest of the days. Now the struggle is real trying to get all of these outfits together and figuring all of that out. If you want to see what I ended up packing definitely make sure to watch our vlogs from the cruise i might do what i wear in a week or something like that i don't know just yet but you'll definitely get to see the outfits and stuff if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and do that because i am going to post tons of pictures from the trip so that would be another way that you can see what i decided to wear but this process is definitely going to take me a little bit longer which is why i started packing earlier so that i wouldn't be rushed and so that i could help my husband pack his stuff too oh my gosh i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you haven't hit that notification bell yet please do that because it will notify you anytime I put up a post or a new video or anything I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye